Good morning, my name is Favor. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this video about virgin voyages and gluten-free or food allergies on virgin voyages. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you'll subscribe. We are a vlogging channel. We just vlog here at home, on the cruise ships, when we travel, we just vlog. If that's something that interests you, I invite you to subscribe. It is free. Okay, so I have a gluten allergy. I am very sensitive, very, very sensitive. I have been glutened on two cruise lines so far and um, it's very unpleasant. Virgin Voyages is the first and only cruise line I have ever sailed where I felt as comfortable as I did eating. If you have a food allergy, food intolerance, food sensitivity, anything like that, I highly recommend Virgin. I did fill out a health form, which I will leave linked for you down in the description box. I did fill out a health form letting Virgin Voyages know that I would be boarding the ship with food allergies which specifically they were. I do this for every single cruise line as I feel like it's important. That way they can be prepared and know that at least one person will be on the ship with my particular food allergy. I have other sensitivities, but my biggest one is gluten. I get a migraine and I will have a migraine within 15 minutes. Uh, a lot of times I'll, that'll be accompanied by nausea, um, it is a severe migraine. It is not treated treatable by medication. Extremely sensitive to the point of one time we were sailing Royal Caribbean and I spoke with the chef, went over their ingredients, everything was fine. The cheese sauce that they used was not gluten-free. They were not aware of it. I was not aware of it. It had yeast extract in it, which was made with barley. And I was eating the cheese on the nachos and within 15 minutes, I was very, very sick. So we knew I had been glutened and they went over the list with me and we did figure it out thanks to my friend who pointed out yeast extract is not always gluten-free. So there you go. I usually incorporate my gluten-free meals into the cruise vlogs. Any cruise vlog that I post will have our meals in it. And because I'm gluten-free, I will say mine are gluten-free and my husband who is not gluten-free, his are gluten-full. So. I, I just include that in every single video. So if you're interested in different cruise lines, not just Virgin and how I eat gluten-free, you will see that in our cruise vlog series. I decided to go ahead and post a separate video on Virgin Voyages gluten-free because of the outstanding way Virgin handled my food and how easy it was to sail with my food allergy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explain how Virgin handles things and then I'm gonna go through as I vlogged these things um, and you'll see me talk about them on the ship and uh, then we'll close out this vlog just so you can see the different options that I had and how easy it was and how tasty they were. So first and foremost, there is no pre-ordering. How wonderful is that? Not a single time did I have to pre-order a meal on Virgin. Not once. Let me just tell you, I appreciate being fed so well on all the cruise lines. I'm sorry, that's my dog. I appreciate being fed so well on all the cruise lines. I really do. They all go above and beyond to take very good care of me. Virgin is just a step above that in the fact that they just offer a variety of gluten-free items. Most of their menus Several items on the menu are already gluten-free or are easily made gluten-free safely for me. Now, there's something you need to keep in mind on this cruise line and any cruise line. There is no guarantee. You have to be your own advocate. You have to take care of yourself. If there's question, question. If it looks too good to be true, question. Double, triple, and quadruple check, especially those of you who have an allergy severe enough that require an EpiPen. You have to be your own advocate. The cruise line doesn't want you to get sick and you don't want to get sick, but you have to take care of yourself first and foremost because nobody is going to take care of yourself and your allergy as well as you are. Just, you have to keep that in mind. You have to be realistic about this. That said, anytime we went to any venue on any spot on this ship, from the galley to any of the restaurants, they knew about gluten-free. The one thing I did, two things I didn't get to try that I'm looking forward to trying next time is tea time, which is an upcharge, and 
the test kitchen. I didn't get to get, I didn't get to those two. We're going to sail again and I will get to those because I'm not sure what the options are for tea time, but I'm very curious and I want to see. But anywhere else, I simply, when they came to the table, they would ask anybody with food allergies. I would say yes. I would tell them what it was and they would either present me with a separate menu or let me know what they could and could not do gluten-free. There was no pre-ordering. My meal came out with everybody else's. I didn't have to wait 45 minutes for something. It was quick, it was easy, it was convenient. And every single person in the food venues that I spoke with about gluten-free knew, they knew. There was no question, they didn't misunderstand, they didn't go, what? They just knew. That you just, if you, if you cruise gluten-free, if you travel gluten-free, if you just live gluten-free, how many times have you walked into some place and had to ask about it and they're like, gluten? So immediately when that happens to me, I leave. I'm like, oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate your help. And then I leave. Or if it's a different, you know, sometimes I'll ask for maybe a chef from not speaking to the hostess or whatever, you know. Um, or if somebody says, oh, I'm not 100%, let me get you somebody who does. Then I'm comfortable with that. But when they go, what? And then you'll say gluten-free and they're like, I don't know. And they don't offer to get you somebody else or they don't seem to understand the importance of it. <laughs> I typically leave. There was none of that on Virgin. I, I just felt so confident and so secure in eating. It was fantastic. I never waited around for food. It was brought out with everybody else's food. Uh, when I wanted a bagel, they would make my bagel. They would make sure it was safe, not touching any of the other surfaces. They had, they would change their gloves. They would cut the bagel. They would put it on the paper. It, when it went into the allergy oven to toast it, it was great. I'm telling you the bread, the bread on this line was so good. I don't know if you've cruised before, but sometimes their breads are a little less than desirable, a little odd. I didn't get to try their hamburger bun. I wanted to, y'all. I there was just so much food I couldn't eat, and I couldn't eat it all. There was so much choice. <laughs> so next time I sail, I'll try the hamburger bun. But I have heard it is quite delicious. It's brought in. The bread looked like it was brought in. The bagels were brought in. They were delicious. It was it was delicious, and I have absolutely no complaints. In the galley. All items are marked gluten-free that are gluten-free. There were some other items that were not marked. I did ask, hey, are any of these gluten-free? And she was like, oh yeah, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And uh, you know, if they weren't 100%, like the desserts, the desserts she did go and ask, and then a chef came out and double checked and let me know. So I was able to try a few varieties. So like macaroons, macarons, macaron, macarons, yes macaroons I think also but macarons were out like they had this this pistachio one that looked so good and it was there all week and a pavlova that was there all week and those things are generally gluten-free and I just never asked and then like the last day I asked and she was like oh yeah these are gluten-free I said oh they're not marked and she said yeah we need to update that or something like that always ask at all the different venues even if it's not marked because you never know I'm talking about in the galley because you never know if it's going to be gluten-free I did order the pancakes. The pancakes, eh. Uh, no cruise line does pancakes well. Really, the only place I've ever found that does pancakes well is a wonderful restaurant in Dallas Company Cafe. Delicious. Delicious, thick, beautiful, wonderful pancakes. I'm so sorry. If you're ever there, go give it a try. My first fries of the night. Look at those French fries. Oh my, they're making me a gluten-free bagel. Oh, strawberries. Cream cheese. Oh, look at that. Rum raisin butter, smoked salmon, blueberry bagel, multi grain bagel, plain bagel, and then of course the breads over there. We have a gluten free bagel. Look at that. Look at that. It looks delicious, nice and toasted, crispy. It's crispy. And then here is a mango yogurt parfait. A little sugar this morning. Can't hurt anyone. Won't hurt me. <laughs> So very excited to have this. It looks delicious. Do you have any sushi, gluten-free sushi? Only the gluten-free we have only salmon, avocado, and dough. Excellent, thank you. So this one, the salmon avocado roll, yes, and what is this one? Avocado, 
avocado. Cucumber, cucumber avocado. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try this one. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna get nachos. Look at that. Chicken nachos. Look at this. Chicken nachos. And then we got the bento with the sushi. Oh my goodness. Yummy. Oh, I forgot to get uh, chopsticks. All right. These are all gluten free. Look at that. And what is this? Bendy top, the okay. and Excellent. Look at that. I'm excited. And then they brought me that gluten free. How nice. So many things. So many things. Bimmy 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 Bop. What did he say? It's gluten free and it looks delicious. <laughs> and he's starting the beef for me, and that's gluten free. So he's cooking that one first and then he'll cook the non-gluten free. And here's our bacon. Very delicious. That was delicious. I ate as much as I could, but I gotta leave room for me. So here are my sauces. This is a sweet chili and a um, gluten-free soy sauce. And then there is the beef. Looks delicious. And now he's starting the shrimp for everyone else. Oh my goodness. The sauces are delicious. He brought me some plain rice. Very, very good. There is mango ice cream for dessert. I have no room, but we're gonna squeeze it in there. Alrighty, here we go. I'm so excited. Look at this, the acai bowl, and Elliot ordered the banana muffin, which is gluten-free. Yay, look at that. There were a lot of choices, and I have never been able to try an acai bowl, and I am very excited to try it. Oh, it's chilly. Oh, it looks so good. Look at that. They made me a gluten-free avocado toast. Oh, delicious. I'm gonna have to roll out of here. So, so yummy. I got some french fries and some sushi. And Matt loves this chocolate cake and it's gluten-free, so I'm gonna try it. So here's a closer look at the sushi. This is uh, it, uh, salmon. It's a salmon avocado roll. And it's, it's really delicious. I really enjoy it. And there's my fries and mayonnaise and ketchup. Oh, look at this. A nice view and everything. So beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> and then here is my gluten-free bread tonight. And they even brought me the fancy butter. Very nice. Oh, there we go. And I am going to try the virgin, virgin, excuse me, virgin mojito. <laughs> so I've never had a mojito, so I thought I would try it. And Elliot said it was very refreshing. So, and I have ordered a huge meal. And here's my wedge salad. You guys, I cannot eat all of this. There's so much food. So much food is coming. The portions are enormous on this ship. Filet mignon. This looks so good. Oh, more food's coming. There's my asparagus. Delicious. Ew, it smells so delicious. We've started with the enchiladas and the achote. I Oh, I, I'm probably saying that incorrectly, but that's what it is. The corn, it looks so delicious. Yummy. Look at this. It looks very delicious. Nice and moist, nothing dry. Very nice. And that, excuse me, that is delicious. Very exciting. Here's the bi steak. Robert got his plane. And here's mine with all the stuff on it. Looks delicious. Yes. Look at all the little treats that are in here. They're all gluten free, so I'm just going to try them all. Yummy! Toe box in the morning. Look at this. This is prepared fruit. So that looks like melon, pineapple, watermelon, and a little dip or yogurt in there. And then they have a tropical blend one. And then over here is mixed berries. That is really cool. Tomorrow morning I will have to get that. Definitely like that. Okay, so they're gonna make me a ham and cheese panini on gluten-free bread. 
So it's going to be a very big breakfast between pancakes and ham and cheese panini. Oh my goodness, you're gonna have to roll me out of the galley. All right, here are the gluten-free pancakes and the gluten-free hash brown and my gluten-free panini, which is bacon, egg, and cheese on the gluten-free bread. Oh, wow, that looks absolutely delicious. I'm very excited to dive in. I'll let All right, here is my ramen noodles, my spoon, my chopsticks, and oh my goodness, look at that. Those are big mushrooms, I think. Not a big mushroom fan, but I like the flavor of it. That looks delicious. There's my delicious chai latte that I just got. Let's try this cookie. Ooh, it's soft. My hair is on my face. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Really, go over there. Really good. And this is a banana muffin. I don't want sticky fingers, but. Look at that texture. Oh my God. Okay, that's really good. Mm -hmm. I had the chocolate one yesterday. Came out this water. It was good. I haven't tried the banana one yet. This blueberry one, outstanding. We could be in trouble here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat my muffin and drink my latte and get on with the ship tour. And the wonderful dessert tonight. Pretty, pretty much the same every night. The pistachio macaron is different. Coconut pavlova. I need to try that. I haven't tried that yet. So the s'mores. Greek almond have halva. Mmm, looks really good, delicious. Seeing as how I've eaten all the things today, I thought I would continue the theme with french fries for dinner, with mayo and ketchup, of course, the only way. And then I'm gonna go over and get a delicious pistachio dessert that I just found out is gluten-free. I'm very excited. I'll see you in just a minute with my dessert. Gluten-free pistachio. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I am full of all the fries, but you know there's always room for dessert. They brought me gluten-free bread and their wonderful dipping sauce. Here we go, there's a shocking board. Yep. Oh my goodness. Looks like mortadello and prosciutto and salami. Oh, I'm not even showing you mortadella. It's prosciutto, salami, and oh, smoky cheeses, moldy cheeses. It looks like honey. Oh my goodness, delicious. And then this is my salad. I forget exactly what this salad is called, but it smells amazing. All right, here's mine, the carbonara. They brought more food. Brussels sprouts. Ooh, so many foods. Okay, let's see what's in here. So there's Brussels sprouts. This is mostly polenta. I'm not, I'm not sure, I've never... All right, let's, we're gonna give this a try. It looks delicious. I love polenta, so. Mm. Okay, that's a tomato sauce. There's something in there. Is that a Brussels sprout? I don't, I don't know, but this is delicious. It tastes delicious. Doesn't matter what's in it, it tastes good. Robert wanted a little snack a snack. Here's these, uh, gluten-free and non-gluten-free options. Little snacks, these are included. They're not extra, along with those back there. It's finally, finally time for Favor to try the gluten-free pizza before we go home. 2 p.m. to 2 a.m., right. Oh, that looks so good. I don't think mine's gonna look like that, but. All right, gluten-free pizza time. Look how good this looks. Look at this thick crust. Oh, I'm so excited. This is key here. Look at the bottom of this. It's not raw, nice and toasty. Oh my goodness, this is screaming hot. Okay, I'm gonna rank it. 
It's the number one cruise ship pizza, but it's only number two behind Don Antonio in New York. So that is the second best gluten-free pizza I've ever had. Way to go, Virgin Voyages. I appreciate that very much. Time for some ice cream. You know, because I'm not full or anything. <laughs> Lots of different choices. You can see the butter pecan, the Malaga, Malag Malaga? I don't know what that is. It's gluten-free. Uh, uh, no, chocolate and vanilla. And then there's some down there. It may be a repeat. But uh, exciting that the butter pecan is gluten-free. There it is. You know it's delicious as ice cream. Razzle-dazzle for breakfast this morning. Delicious send-off. Here is Razzle breakfast. Razzle-dazzle breakfast. Mm, Gluten-free bread is coming too. Delicious. There you go. That I don't know what else I can say to you to convince you that gluten-free on Virgin Voyages is just a step above the rest. All the cruise lines do a great job at taking care of me. I've never sailed a single cruise line in which I've had... Okay, no, that's not true. MSC. My daughter's coming up. Yes, sir. Did you need to be in the video? <laughs> Is mommy's lipstick minty? Okay, hop down. <laughs> there you go. I've only sailed one cruise line where the gluten-free has just not been great. And ironically, it was an Italian cruise line, which really is usually the easiest way to eat <laughs> but anyway so i encourage you to sail virgin voyages especially if you have a gluten allergy uh intolerance celiac that kind of thing it's really really good if you're interested in our review of virgin voyages i will leave that video linked right up there and down in the description box for you thank you so much for joining me i encourage you to subscribe i am a gluten-free traveler we are going to europe next year we were supposed to go this year but that did get canceled uh, so we are going next year on the Sun Princess to Italy and a Mediterranean cruise. Uh, we have Celebrity coming up. We have more Princess cruises coming up and, of course, another Virgin Voyage is coming up. So thank you so much for joining us. I hope you'll subscribe. It is free. Give this video a thumbs up if you're so inclined. And we will see you around the ship. Bye.